checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Commander versus Kyle Fletcher. Mm. New hair for Kyle, new gear, new entrance, I think even new tattoos. Whole new Kyle. And for a little bit, this is like that classic, it's not just an AEW thing. They, they do, just do it as much as anyone where, uh, you know, it's not a debut, obviously, but it's a, a new version of Kyle Fletcher. And your, your gut says he's going, Commander's cool, but they never do anything with him. He should kill this guy in three minutes and be done with it. And it doesn't happen. And the match is going on. He's starting to get a little annoyed that Kyle's having this much trouble. And suddenly, it just turned into an incredible wrestling match. And Commander's making this comeback. It was actually right after uh, Fletcher was still running wild. And he hit a big tope and it stopped to boot Alex Abrahantes in the face, which I guess fired Commander up. Because suddenly Commander's hitting this giant moonsault and a Spanish fly. And uh, people are like bouncing up and down in their seats watching this. They're so excited. He goes for a moonsault. <laughs> he goes for a moonsault. Kyle's on his back and gets both feet up. I think Commander's head fell off. That was awesome. He got booted really, really hard in the head. Or I should say, he threw his head really, really hard into Kyle's feet. Kyle hits a last ride for two. And that just fired Commander up more. He hit every move ever. Poison Rana in the ring. Poison Rana on the floor. Slice of bread on the apron. Springboard destroyer. Tight rope running springboard dive. He tried another rope walk, but Kyle booted the ropes out from under him. Brain buster, mafia kick, brain buster onto the turnbuckle in the corner. Kyle wins a fucking spectacular match. Yeah, I, I felt bad because, like, you know, Dave didn't even see the match, and he spent about 10 minutes raving about it last night. Just, How does that work? Well, you know, Dave. But I, I, I felt bad because, like, you know, everyone had been emailing him and talking about how awesome it was and everything, and I was just sitting there going, God damn, I hate having to be that guy. And let me make it abundantly clear. I thought this match, like, in a vacuum, was fucking awesome. Like, one of the best, like, collision matches all year. It was just fucking great. But mm -hmm. we don't live in a vacuum. We live where everything's supposed to play into everything else. And Kyle Fletcher is like, this guy's on the cusp, dude. He's on the cusp of, like really becoming a big time star and they bring this dude out here to go and, and like up until like somebody on the board was like we can't have all squashes and it's like i don't want to squash like you're in there with commander you can you can have like a really good match and up until like they had a spot where commander goes for the moonsault and kyle boots him out of midair yep. but he doesn't just get his knees up or his feet up he actually like kicks him out of midair so commander is flying up and then he's flying down and then he gets kicked and he goes flying up again it was absolutely incredible and he just gets booted the place is going fucking nuts kyle grabs him spinning sit out power bomb i was like god damn that match was fucking great he kicked out what and then not only did he kick out now commander who has won two singles matches in all of 2024, he starts fucking ruining Kyle Fletcher. He's just like, near fall, near fall, near fall, near fall. Kyle tries something. Counters, near fall. Kyle tries something. Springboard uh, into a, a Canadian destroyer. I'm like, are we pu who are we pushing here? Like, what the fuck's going on? And Commander's just hitting big move, hitting big move, hitting big move, to the point where... The announcers, this was their exact fucking line that they said. If I can find it here. They said, not the statement match Kyle Fletcher was looking for. Mm. I was like, no shit. It wasn't the statement match Kyle Fletcher was looking for. It was a statement match for Commander, who never fucking wins. So, from that perspective, I was like, dude, everything was going along great until that sit-out powerbomb. And then it went from a showcase match for Fletcher to we got to have a banger on collision. Doesn't matter, like, how this plays in anything else. Just need to have a fucking banger. And God bless them, they did. It was a fucking banger to end all bangers. But, like, at the end of the day, it was, I don't know, man. Kyle, give me fucking something for Kyle Fletcher. This guy is so goddamn great. And he's out there, he can't even beat Commander. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.